write the blog, Marty's Musings, and I write about all things DIY and crafts, easy family recipes, ways to decorate your home on a budget. I am going to share an, a so simple project for your fall table. Now, I love to decorate. I always have some kind of centerpiece in my table, but I was a homeschooling mom for 23 years, and there wasn't a lot of pretty to my table because often that was where we worked. So this year I am adding some buffalo check to my home decor, and I wanna show you how I'm going to do that. So let me show you, let's see if I can flip this up. This is what we're going to be putting together specifically the Buffalo Check Charger. You know, this project is so easy. And then we're also gonna do a burlap one. And I wanted to mention that I got these plates, these little salad plates or dessert plates last year at my local at my local dollar store. And I had to go to several dollar stores because I wanted enough for our family when we uh, have our Thanksgiving dinner and that's extended family and everything. So I wanted to get as many of these as I could because if you don't buy, my tip is if you don't buy stuff when you see it at the dollar store, it's a chance that it's gone and you may never see it again. You can go to the dollar store or to your craft store or whatever. You're going to need a, a plastic charger for the base. I got these at a yard sale. I probably got Eight for a dollar. I don't remember. Then I've got some burlap. I just used what I have on hand. And then this year I have been adding the buffalo check to my decor. I've got another video where I added this to a little tray from the thrift store. So that, that's kind of how I'm changing up my decor for this year. You're also going to need some of the Mod Podge, decoupage, whatever you want to call it. I, for this project, I like using the matte instead of the gloss, and I usually I just use whatever I have on, on hand. And you're gonna need some kind of a brush. I like these inexpensive craft brushes that you can just toss when you're done. You're gonna need a pen or something to mark with and a pair of scissors. Okay, let's start with the buffalo check. You're simply going to flip your fabric, fabric, and turn your uh, charger face down. We are just going to trace the plate onto the fabric. You can buy these chargers. You can buy Buffalo Check chargers on Amazon. I've seen them at different places, but this just makes it simple. And I would recommend, I don't know if you're very good at cutting or not. Sometimes I think I'm just a kid and I have trouble. <laughs> I have trouble staying within the lines and I would recommend going just a little bit to the outside. The first charger I did, I cut kind of a little bit too little, too small, but it's okay with the plates and things on it, you really can't tell. And once you're done trimming this, and you glued it onto the charger, you can always go back and trim the edges if you need to. You can iron your fabric if you want to. I found that it stretched pretty well and I didn't really need to. So I like, I like just adding a coat of the decoupage. And a decoupage is literally like a glue that dries clear. And I like adding first one coat to the charger. I like to do projects using things that are inexpensive. 
And honestly, that way, if it doesn't turn out right, you don't have any, really hardly any money invested in it. This year, not having yard sales has been a bummer. But it has saved us money. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of press the fabric on top of the Mod Podge and then I'm gonna add a second coat I think it makes you probably want to sit down and have dinner together as a family when the table was prettier and not full of just everybody's junk I don't know if you like getting your hands dirty or not but this is where I would smooth out really any edges. Make sure that the glue completely covers. This is a thin cotton, I think it's probably cotton polyester blend that I'm using. Okay. And then I'm going to use just a piece of burlap. You can do whatever goes with your decor. So if your decor has some blends of other colors, the cool thing about burlap is it's available in different colors and patterns and things. So just kind of think about that when you go to the store. And especially with the burlap. The burlap, I would just, as I'm going to cut it out, hmm. burlap is a whole lot stretchier and flexible. So when I cut it out, I'm going to cut it out a little bit wider to make sure that I have it completely covering the charger. And I'm cutting it just outside that this line because the first one I did, I cut it a little bit shy of the outside edge. I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little bit of that off. Okay, make sure that you flip. You're gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply a first coat of the Mod Podge. I'm kinda, I call myself a messy painter and a messy crafter. You can always um, iron your fabric if you need to. I didn't. The burlap, I'm just going to tell you, when you add this coat on the top, it is really messy because the, burl the glue, in essence, has to go through the holes of burlap. So we're just going to get this thing completely saturated. And then I'll probably end up sliding it around a little bit. I know that I will need to trim the edges. And so here you can tell I'm kind of just overlapping the edges. And, ugh, y'all, that's so gooey. You want to make sure that you get it all the way into the crevices. I will say that the burlap is not as easy to work with as the fabric. But I think it's pretty. And so when this is dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to trim those edges. I've got a white plate and then I'm adding in a fall plate. Ooh, you can see that. That I got at the dollar store. I stocked up on these little grateful plates last year because I think they add such a pretty accent. And I love the buffalo check, the white, and then the normal, the traditional fall colors. And so that's today's easy project with a little bit of fabric, a dollar store charger, and some Mod Podge. You have something that's going to be really pretty for your fall table. <laughs>